Uh, yeah, I'll probably start crying again, but um, I didn't expect it. They're all pretty shady. They were able to pull that off, but um, to be honest, I feel really lucky to, um, to come back to a group of people that I enjoy being around as human beings and just love playing with. Um, it's not every day you get both, um, so um, the support that I've received from this team from afar has been really wonderful, and um, I just, yeah, I just feel really lucky. Yeah, a lot has changed. Uh, I feel really lucky this this team, this group of players is really good at keeping me in the loop. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously with the coaching change and uh, there's been some shift of personnel, but I think at the end of the day, um, the group of people here, you know, there's still also a lot of new faces and um, I cannot wait to get to know all the new players. But um, I just think there's something in this team um, I think Gunny called it magic, but there's something in this team that we had at the beginning of the season and we lost it for a bit and uh, I was able to watch the North Carolina game from Japan and bits of the Chicago one and um, it's back. So uh, I'm just pr proud of the team but also just happy to be here and, and hope, hopefully help to grow that. Yeah, um, I, I mean two years ago I couldn't walk. I had tarsal tunnel syndrome in both my feet and the nerve pain was so bad. Um, and I didn't know if I would play soccer again, to be honest. So January, I got called in to camp with the new coach. And uh, two days in, I jammed my finger so bad it was the same size as my pinky, so my middle finger. So um, yes, there's been a number of obstacles. Um, I didn't anticipate even when I was signed here that I would go, but I have to give the pride so much credit. Working with Lloyd day in and day out, um, and Ash, and of course, Britt, and Kaylee, like just the attention to detail and um, I've had a lot of coaching from all of them and we work together and I, I don't think that I would have gone to the Olympics without them and I just feel so grateful again that I'm in a club that pushes me to be my best self as a human being because of the off-field stuff that we do. I take a lot of pride in um, you know the activism within this team but also like on-field uh, that uh, striving for excellence so uh, I don't know I have big dreams I did want to go to one more Olympics, um, so, uh, but I think it's, it really hit me the last, like, you know, I've just been like bawling for a week. Um, I think it just hit me, you know, like 20 years I've been playing for Canada and my dream when I was five years old was go to the Olympics and win a gold and, um, and here we are 33 years later. Um, well, everyone who knows me calls me a peach because I bruise easy and I'm very sensitive. Um, so there's always a little bit of emotion brewing in me. No, but I think uh, when we beat the U.S., um, I've never done that in my career. So it hit me then. And then there was a moment in that game where I just knew we could do it. And I think from that moment on, I, um, I mean, I believe we could do it months ago, but um, like I just kind of, that solidified it for me that we were there and we could do it. Um, and so, yeah, at the end, I mean, it's cool. You know, you get near the end of your career and you get to see the future. Um, carry the torch and uh, the, the future is really bright for Canada and I'm just so proud to be a part of it. It's still fresh.